and it's so beautiful out here. Okay, <laughs> back again. I'm gonna have to stop this. Whee! Whoa! Whew! <laughs> Nature is important to you, you'll have to come to Davy Dogwood Park here in Palestine, Texas. this cedar tree it actually split the tree came all the way across the trail it was here for quite some time you can actually see where it was cut over there and I was just having the best time running really 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 fast and then jumping over it Before we leave downtown and head over to the Bowers Mansion, I just wanted to show you guys one of my favorite places downtown, the historic Redlands Hotel. It has a great bar where you can sit and have a drink. There's a wonderful art gallery, and the art gallery hosts monthly art walks on Saturdays from 10 to 3. They're really cool and I encourage you to check them out if you happen to be in town and of course if you live here. The Redlands Hotel also has a great restaurant where you can grab a bite to eat and this brings us to Bowers. And welcome to the future home of the Ancient Roots Bowers Mansion Retreat and Bed and Breakfast. So I'm over here at the front door, come along with me and we'll take a quick peek. Welcome to the ladies parlor. This is one of the original fireplaces and both fireplaces were imported from Italy. They both feature ebonized wood and the original blue Italian tile. This is the room that Andrew Bowers Jr. shot himself in. The bullet went through that window which used to be a stained glass window and we do get a lot of paranormal activity in this room. Over here we can come into the men's parlor which has a second ebonized fireplace and this fireplace does work, it is operational. Again, the original blue tiles are present. All of these windows are what we would call walk-through windows so they do open to the port, enjoy you know, the afternoon on the porch, sit on a little table, have some tea. Welcome to the Bowers dining room. This happens to be the room that I see the majority of the orbs in myself. And throughout the house, there's this oak fretwork, which is really beautiful. And if we just kind of pop up the stairs here for a second, you can take a peek at the stained glass windows which are really gorgeous. Unfortunately, they're not original. They were vandalized in the 70s and replaced. Now, next time I'll show you guys the upstairs and I will take you into the kitchen and the back of the house as well.
passion flower. Passion flowers are done for the summer, but can you see that? There's one. This is the servants' quarters, <laughs> the back of it. Give you guys a good view of it later. Go all the way around. Go up and inside. Ooh, look at that hair. This is what I look like when I'm working. So I didn't think to start filming everything here um, at the Bowers like a year ago. But that's what that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> I get so sweaty, I can't see. Is this going? My eyes start to burn. <laughs> Environment. <laughs> it looks like I got porcupine. This is what porcupine me. <laughs> There's the servants' quarters from the other side. There was a balcony, but that had to come down in order for us to straighten the building out because the building was literally the leaning tower of Palestine. There's a big pile.
All right, it's been a few hours. Made some pretty big piles. That's a smaller pile. That's a medium pile. And there's a huge pile on the other side. We're clearing this so that this siding can be accessed. As you saw earlier, the back is open and that's going to be closed up. So that's why the clearing's taking priority right now. So we can get this back side that's exposed and open, buttoned up. And then we can get some paint on some areas that need paint. And that will just kind of help hold it over um, until, until the next steps. But as you can see, a fair amount has actually already been done. Yeah, so this was leaning that way. <laughs> this was leaning when I got here. It was hit by a tree during a storm. The chimney was taken out. Let's go up. This has actually gotten crazier in the last year. It's a little, I don't know about that. Ooh, just a peek inside. And the chimney was there. So the chimney needed to come out because it was broken. Ooh. Oh my gosh, fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff, right? <laughs> so I'm super sweaty and I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna eat something. Thanks for tuning in.